Hi, Cardinal Nation. Uh, I am head volleyball coach Ashlyn Roberts, and I am here with my three incredible seniors. I have number 11, Lena Ramos, number three, Lily Kerbel, and number 14, Olivia Ford. And I'm going to do a little pre-senior night game interview with these ladies. Um, so first, anyone can answer, how are you feeling about your senior night? excited but like sad at the same time because I feel like it went too fast and I feel like we've been together for so long so like not being together next year is gonna be like weird I know I'm already tearing up <laughs> Lena how do you feel good <laughs> I mean I was talking to like some people at school today and I was like my senior year was <laughs> like last year basically because I can't play this year but mm -hmm. so I mean I'm not nervous or anything but like it's still nice to have a little ceremony yeah yeah, um, I'm so excited that everything we've worked so hard for mm -hmm. forever is finally like reaching this culmination. Yeah. And tonight's the night. Yes. Like all of you played, y'all played volleyball for so long, like either in CYO or like club volleyball from a young age. And so, you know, Lena, for you, even though you're not playing tonight, tonight can be a celebration of just, you know, everything that you have done has led to this moment. And, you know, you're either going to continue your career, you're going to shift paths, you know, and focus on your academics and, you know, all, all the above with that. But I think tonight is just a really big celebration and it is bittersweet. I've already cried twice <laughs> and I will cry again, but let's just celebrate tonight and have so much fun and just be proud of yourselves because you guys have definitely left your mark on Cardinal Volleyball forever. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Lily, what has been the talk, kind of like in the team huddles, in the locker room, maybe when I'm not even around, in the trolls group chat, whatever y'all have going on, what have y'all been talking about getting us focused for tonight, end of season, post postseason? <laughs> um, our main talk has been about peaking in October, mm -hmm. and because that's when playoff starts, and that's when all your hard work like really starts to matter, and like. You can be like shaky or like your record doesn't matter until you get to playoffs and it's like the best of the best through that and who's gonna like finish like we talked about like do we have like one month left in us and like mm -hmm. because like all the good teams you can have a good record until now but if you can't push for one more month then yes. it's not gonna matter in the end so especially like doing it for more than yourselves because like especially we've talked about it like this is our last one so like we want to go as long as we can because especially the people like we can't do without them so yeah. we just want to keep going as long as we can and make it to state because I've been missing it <laughs> for a long time <laughs> for sure mm -hmm. all right Olivia what yeah. does playing tonight in our home gen as a senior what does this mean to you um it means that there's going to be a lot of energy and mm -hmm. we got to bring it I mean we're going to have I've heard a ton of people say that they're coming to the game tonight. Awesome. So we're going to have a packed house, and we got to deliver for them. And not only play for the crowd, but play mm -hmm. for ourselves and pray for, play for God. Yes. Um, like, all of us have stuff written on the bottom of our shoes, mm -hmm. like audience of one, only for him. Like, yes. we really need to put that in effort tonight, especially for, like, one of our last home games. Like, yeah. this is one of our last times ever setting foot on the gym. That's right. So. For sure. Lena. Oh, Lord. You <laughs> suffered a... <laughs> Season ending injury. It was really rough for you, for our team. You've had surgery, you're in the recovery stage, you still can't play tonight. However, what are you wanting to see from your teammates and from your two other seniors? What are you wanting to see tonight and tomorrow night like, um, in our home gym? I would say, out of y'all, just like leadership, because I feel like you have a way of leading with words and your actions too and you're very like intense mm -hmm. but I feel like my role of leading was like let's go you're mm -hmm. better than this do this mm -hmm. and I feel like y'all both need to like now share that role because I'm not in the court mm -hmm. like I can't do that mm -hmm. so what was the other part of the question what do you want to see from <laughs> your teammates so not them but the others oh the court? just like get excited yeah I feel like sometimes we're just like there and taking it <laughs> Obviously, don't take it for granted because mm -hmm. um, it can end at a moment, mm -hmm. clearly. But, yeah, just ball out, as you would say. Yes. Empty the tank. <laughs> Good. This one. Um, what 
what are we working towards? State. State. The blue, blue map. map. <laughs> and what are we doing actively every day? How is our team preparing for that, especially in October? I think, like, making sure all aspects are important. Like, we really focus on, like, the weight room, conditioning, mm -hmm. and practice, and, like, what you do with, like, education and, like, your relationships outside of school and, like, the people around you are going to bring you up or down. So, like, making sure that you're not just specific to, like, practice and that's what you do and that you're going to be there, like, for the extra reps and for the extra mm -hmm. practice because – it everything affects like what happens on the court and like whether you're going to make it to state or not and the state champions aren't going to be just people that are good at volleyball they're going to be good in multiple aspects of life mm -hmm. so including having jesus on their side yes most people take that for granted <laughs> so yes. we play for him what yes. about you um i think holding ourselves accountable mm. like when lily mentioned the weight room like finishing every rep with intention yeah. and like the promise of getting better like we're never going to get better if we put in that effort mm -hmm. and we have been mm -hmm. now let's keep pushing one yeah. more month very good all right last question what has been your favorite memory of saint michael volleyball lena <laughs> all right mine was my sophomore year whenever we like it was right after school we were in the locker room getting ready to go to a game but we didn't take a bus we were all driving separately i think it was like Fairhope maybe mm -hmm. was it Fairhope? I think, I think so. it was Fairhope. Yeah. <laughs> and Coach Ash was like, "I'm letting y'all drive y'all selves because we're on the bus. Whatever, go straight to the school. Be there. <laughs> I'm I'm checking what time you're gonna be there because we're all leaving now. Be there at this time." <laughs> Me and Lily rode with Marley Charles <laughs> and went to a coffee shop. What was it? Coffee. Uh, Soul Cafe. Soul Cafe. Daphne. <laughs> in Daphne. Coach Ash lives in freaking Gulf Shores. She doesn't even know the shops <laughs> like the coffee shops in Daphne. And she walks into the coffee shop that we were at, and all of our faces <laughs> and dropped. And we died. They were the color of Lily's jersey. <laughs> like, and it wasn't like a grab-and-go situation. They weren't, like, we quickly were down grabbing a smoothie. <laughs> they were sitting down, having a meal together. <laughs> it was wild. And we, we did not know what to do. <laughs> our faces dropped. We were like, we were like <laughs> no way. Marley... Oh my god, she was so scared. <laughs> we were all scared. But anyways, so probably that. That's a good one. Um, and then my other one isn't as funny, but just winning laser tag last week as a cripple. <laughs> Oops. She Thank literally you. sat in one spot with her crutch <laughs> and beat everyone at laser tag. I don't know how you did it. I'm yeah. just <laughs> All right, Lily, what was your favorite memory? That or not favorite, kind of traumatizing. Oh gosh. So oh. we deservingly had to get up to condition on homecoming morning after like a really bad like not bad like game but like bad attitude game and i love to be on time like i will never be late to anything that regards volleyball true but um i set my alarm for um 5 p.m not 5 a.m <laughs> and proceeded to sleep until 605 and was late when we had to be there at like six and so i definitely cried a lot and showed up like dying but it's okay because Coach Ash's dog was there, and then it, like, pooped on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> but that was fun. And then bowling night and white t-shirt exchange, because yes. that was really good. That was so much fun. All right, Lou. Um, I've always loved all the retreats, but the senior retreat was a lot of fun, mm -hmm. um, like making bracelets and having to carry our little cripple across the beach. <laughs> yes. Um, but my absolute top favorite memory was beating Lily in tug of war. Oh. In, in the 2024 She's Olympics. so strong. It was it's so insane. good. Yeah, yeah. It was so good. <laughs> yeah, smoked Lily. So that was definitely one of my favorite memories. <laughs> good. I love all these memes. But me personally, I can't wait to make more memories in Montgomery at super regionals mm -hmm. and at state in Birmingham like mm -hmm. we're speaking life <laughs> and I'm ready to make some memories my last memories with you guys let's just take it as far as we can <laughs> and keep giving glory to God yeah. yay <laughs> all right well that's it thank you for watching <laughs> and I really hope everyone has the opportunity to watch these girls ball out either tonight the rest of the season or in their future college volleyball careers. Or when we win and host area. That's right. So. Go, Go Cardinals! Cardinals. <laughs>